Hello everybody, it's me, Little Simmer. Um, I'm back with another Sims 3 speed build. This one is really special and I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, it's like a little cottage, like little fairy tale cottage. I actually built this house for a sim that I had made a while ago. I made a witch and so I wanted to put her in this little cottage hut thing. Um, a lot of inspiration from Pinterest. I also built this house in Moonlit Falls. I thought that I thought that was, you know, the the right place to put it. And it's on like a little 25 by 20 lot. I'm also having a hard time breathing, but it's okay. And I wanted to build this house in like a little secluded area. And so this is the only lot in this particular area of Moonlit Falls. Um, and I, it's like, it's like beside the river and whatnot. And I play with the terrain paints and I put a pond and it's just really, really pretty. Um, this house was definitely a lot of fun and I will be doing more houses like this. Um, around Halloween time, I'm going to do like a, like a witch's hut. Like a little bitch set, you know what I mean? And I wanted to build this because, okay, because when I first um, got the idea to like build this house, I went out, I went on like YouTube and like looked up, you know, cottage speed build, which cottage speed builds. And um, one of them, one of the videos that I seen was using those, those roof things. I don't know what they're called, but they came with Midnight Hollow. And um and so I got it. I got Midnight Hollow and I um I decided to use them. It took me a minute to figure out like how to use them. Like what uh, what size the the roof needs to be and how many squares the the area needs to be in order for it to fit. But I eventually figured it out. <laughs> And this house has a lot of flowers, a bunch of like wild flowers and a bunch of shrubbery. And I changed the color of the grass. Like I used the autumn grass because it's like brighter. And all the all this, uh, the, the pictures of cottages that I seen on Google had like really bright, um, really bright grass. And I also used the, the light dirt instead of the, the regular dirt this time. And I had the brush, the brush softness all the way down because I figured, um, you know, dirt isn't clean cut. It's like kind of all over the place. But how's everybody's week going? It's been a few days since I posted a speed build and I was kind of, I guess didn't feel like, you know, building. Because I've been, I've been kind of getting discouraged because... I feel like all of my speed builds look the same. And then I found this little cottage on um, Google and I was like, I got, I got, I got kind of excited. And I was kind of, I was watching um, the Plum Dots videos and she did a couple of cottages and um, I was just watching a bunch of cottage videos. And I've also found that, um, um, I was gonna say something, but I can't remember what it's what it was. Anyway, it was, <laughs> the I play tested this this house with one of my Sims. I actually built this house for a Sim of mine, but this house will be available for download on Mega, where I use where I upload all of my all of my houses. It's just easier for me to do it on Mega. Nobody's complained about that yet. And so I'll continue to do that. Um, I, I, but yeah, I play tested and the only issue that I came across was with the, the wall shelf in the kitchen. It's not used for anything. It's just like a decoration piece. So if you delete that shelf, and I'll show you which one it is when we get to it. Um, but if you delete the, sh the shelf... Um, Everything should work. Um, 
but yeah, because uh, right under, underneath the shelf, uh, I put like the dog food bowl and stuff, and I was trying to get her to fill up, fill the, the animals bowl up, and she is stomping her feet and waving her arms in the air, and <laughs> I can't do this, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, if you just delete the shelf, everything will be, everybody, everything should run pretty smoothly. Um, I used the the cabinets from from the base game, and then I mixed match. I mixed. I mixed. I mixed matched the them with the the pets. Um. Um. Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. It's the cabinets and the 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 counters. There we go. <laughs> this voiceover is all over the place. <laughs> But yeah, I mix match the base game cabinets with the pets counters. <laughs> um, but yeah, I put like a little the the food bowl, like the dog food bowl, and a little mat. And I've been watching a lot of the Plum Dots videos, and I've been getting a lot of the, like decoration. Whoa, <laughs> a lot of like decoration inspiration from her. And I I, I was gonna use um, OMSP, but Everything pretty much fit where I needed it to, so I didn't need to use OMSP. Um, and I didn't have that much, like, clutter. I didn't want to, like, completely clutter it up, because I wanted it to be able... I wanted them to be able to use the space. Um, and I also didn't want to, like, clutter up the counters, because they kind of need like the counters for cooking. Another thing that I'm just now noticing is I forgot to put in a fridge. Oh my god, that's going to <laughs> that's going to bother me because I already exported the house to like upload it. And I'm already like in the process of uploading it, and so I can't change it. So if you guys download the house, the only thing you should have to do is add a um add a fridge somewhere. Um I am so sorry about that, you guys. Um, but other than the shelf and me forgetting to put a fridge in like a dummy, <laughs> everything else should work perfect, perfectly fine. Um, it kind of reminds me of a studio-like apartment, sort of, because everything's like one room. And you'll see here in a minute when we get to the living room that the living room is kind of like a bedroom, too. Because I put it like a, it, I, uh, I, oh, wow. <laughs> I downloaded a day bed and um, I thought it was really pretty. Yeah, you're seeing me save the game. Save the game. Um, but nobody's really complained about seeing me do that. Because it's literally just like a millisecond of me like saving it. Because I, I speed up my videos like eight times and so it doesn't take that long at all to to save and since I don't like stop when I start building like when I know I didn't stop like the whole time I don't see a point in like you know like going through and looking for that one little second and nobody's really complained about it so <laughs> um sorry guys I'm having a really hard time like keeping my my breath. Um, I need to download more like more custom content, but I have just about enough to like make this because the kitchen's like tiny. So I was really excited to do the. I was really excited to do the decoration for the kitchen because it's like kind of small and there it like all the all the decor that I put in made it look like really good. I thought it made it look really good. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I forgot to put a freaking... I can't believe I forgot to put a fridge. I feel so stupid. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, but yeah, just delete that shelf that's on the wall right there, and your game should... your sim shouldn't have any problem at all getting around and using anything. Um... But yeah, 
how's everybody doing? Um, I think I'm at 141 subscribers, and that's more than I could ever, like, like, wish for. Like, I'm not expecting to get, like, you know, a million views or a million subscribers, but, like, the little, you know, amount I have, I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for all of you guys. <laughs> um, and I'm glad that you guys are, like, enjoying my stuff. I haven't been in the mood to actually play. I've just been in, like, a a building mood. But yeah, in the living room kind of it's like a bedroom with a little sitting area. Um <sighs> Sorry, my nose is all stuffed up and I don't know why. But I put a like I know that, you know, they didn't really have TVs back in the days where I imagined this house would be like modern in. Um, but in The Sims, you kind of need to put a TV in your houses to keep your Sims occupied, so they're not bored out of their minds. I also put a, I also put like a little laptop because I had I had enough room behind the couch for a um for a little table, and um, so I put a table and a laptop behind the couch there. And we're just cluttering up stuff, putting random stuff down, moving stuff around, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, we're getting to the part where we're putting the the table and chair in. I liked the color of the chair, and so I just recolored the table to look like the chair. I thought it looked really good. Um, I don't have very much else to talk about actually so I think I'm gonna leave you guys with some music and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please you know let me know that you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next video have a good day guys <laughs>